Welcome back to Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists. This week, you uh, watch a movie, but how do you know that the movie exists? Well, that's something called a trailer. And today, we sit down with some people who know a little bit about that. The unsung heroes of Hollywood are always behind the camera, and sometimes behind a computer screen, and sometimes so far away from the movie they haven't seen it until they edit it together. These trailer house editors work with the magic of how to mar market <laughs> and sell a movie to you, so you go see it. It's an art form. You best believe it, son. Coming to a theater near you this summer. Let's listen in. <laughs> Are we ready? <laughs> Guys, <laughs> how are you? It's I can't scary. believe it. Wow, it's wow, so wow. It feels wow. like freaking uh, beer night. Am I right? It feels like beer night. It feels, it feels like, like beer, beer night. night. You guys remember beer night? We used to have it like once a week, and now it feels like. We yeah, all die. the guys of all yeah. the different trailer yeah. houses would get together on oh beer night. Yes, yeah. yeah. for sure. At the farmer's market at the Grove. Yeah. At farmer's yeah. Market at beer the Grove. night at farmer's market at the Grove. Fridays, beer night. Beer and then night. we all went to Zara after. We all went to Zara. And, and laughed. And we got button ups. Clothing. We mocked the shirts. We said, I won't fit in those. I pretty much I pretty much don't wear a shirt unless it is representing a movie that I like. Don't nice, nice. Yeah. 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 That I like. Well, talk about the shirt you're wearing now. I mean, I, I, I wear my Adobe shirt. This pretty much does not come off me. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. like, I just don't really feel like I'm who I am until I put this thing on. I mean, it's Of course. Sort of, well, say your name. I'm Dave Frank. I've uh, been editing trailers for about 10 years now over at Trailer Park Boys. Uh, we <laughs> predate yeah. the show. Yeah, but, you guys do. Uh, by yeah. about six months, though. By about six months. You yeah. guys are rowdy over there. You guys were ships passing in the night, <laughs> yeah. really, with that show. Also Canadian. It's a sort of a Canadian yeah. uh, trailer house. and So, yeah, we do, we do beef with the TV show quite a lot. You do. Mm. Well, that show, I mean, that show's still kind of around, I guess. It's around on streaming, and you better believe that the Trailer Park Boys, the real Trailer Park Boys, work hard to uh, get that pulled off of Absolutely. Netflix and any other. Talk, yeah, about the, you got it. talk about the biggest uh, uh, trailer you have, because you have one of my favorite trailers. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, the trailer that kind of got me into trailers was The Sandlot. Yes. Yeah. Uh, because mm. the, I, the trailer... You know, you watch it and you think it's all going to be about the dog. I don't know if you guys remember, but they made a pretty crazy choice to make it not very feature baseball. baseball yeah, not at all. all. They just kind of circulated the dog. More so the big, scary junkyard dog. And that was one of the big choices that kind of got people thinking a trailer can be weird. A trailer can feature the <laughs> you dog. That's really so like, true, man. I love that trailer because it told me it's okay to be weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we're saying that. A lot around the uh, around the office. That's like on the tip of every. Region. Yeah, Trailer Park Boys are known for. Yeah, it's kind of like the slogan. It's lit up in neon lights. It's called Trailers Can Be Weird. Trailers it's can written be in weird. cursive. Yeah. Trailers yeah. can be weird, and then it flashes in between. Trailers taught me it's okay to be weird because we couldn't really decide which was. Like, our <laughs> yeah. I love that you guys just like yeah, found like, a medium and the yeah. blink like a Vegas sign. Like it blinks back and forth like a woman's leg moving. You yeah, know yeah, I mean? yeah. yeah. It's like very and that's cool. just in the edit bay. Like no one really sees this in the outside world. It's yeah. just Gosh. like yeah. It's and incredible. It's dark in there, as you guys know. Yeah. I mean, if you're cutting oh, yeah, a trailer, man. you do not want the sunlight coming. Yeah. Oh no, no I no. I won't have phones it's on a lot in my room. No, 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 no yeah. light, no light, folks, no, no light. Gosh, gosh, this well, is such a beer is night. Great. This, this is, is so such a beer, beer night. night. Well, let's incredible. keep these uh, uh, intros moving. I can go next. Um, I'm Todd. Uh, I work here with my buddy at uh, Trey Let's Get It Started. Um, <laughs> and we are, that's sort of a play on the words. Yeah. Uh, it's a really fun play because you never say trailer. You say Trey Let's Get no, It Started. No, it's so yeah, awesome because so we don't want of, you to know too much. Well, you yeah. guys sort of homage to the Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, right. our favorite band. Um, we favorite are brothers. Band. We are the Premier Mere Pro Bros. And uh, we've been working together for a long time. Uh, we make all the trailers for King Kong Skull Island and any movie that looks like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the big monkey movies. <laughs> yeah. Any big monkey movie. Jack any, Black. Like, big... You guys do Jack Black a lot, too. Yeah, we do Jack Black. We just, yeah. he's, he's well, our... Jack Black notoriously has big monkey in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 100%, yeah. bro. We, so could, okay, so we do uh, trailers for big monkeys and guys who monkey around. So that's yeah. Jack Black. Right. Yeah. Our wives are friends. Uh, yeah. Cool. That's oh, awesome. Good. 
to know. Yeah. Let's good just say that. Know. Our That's, wives are friends. Our wives are really good friends. Yeah. Let's just okay. say they're good friends. <laughs> Let's not, just say that. Still not invited to beer night, though. No. Oh, I have no wives. No wives in beer night. That would be literally crazy fuck. Uh, what's up, guys? Let's keep the beer night going. My name is uh, Chuck Scotty. I am a big uh, trailer editor at Trail Her to Her Car. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. We're kind of an indie. We do a lot of the art film, but we also love to dip into the Marvel universe. So we'll do art film and Marvel trailers the usually. two sides of the trailer, yin-yang. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like the yin the yang and the yang. So we have a giant yin-yang thing with some Buddhist iconography right when you mm -hmm. walk into our trailer house. And it's really fun. You guys get in trouble a lot for the name <laughs> sort of being a little bit distasteful and then also yeah. sort of the appropriation of various like Asian symbols. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah, we get in trouble a lot. We're trying to learn. We're trying to grow every yeah. day. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Unfortunately, trail her to her car. Too late to change. Yeah. It's the, the, Are you sure? It late. feels like you can just I do it. No, might. it's a nightmare to change because the industry knows us. You know, we're working with Marvel yeah. and we're working with uh, A24, you know, uh, and... Gosh, that's like two sides. That's like that's ballet like and hip-hop. It's crazy. You yeah, guys do both. We, well, this is crazy because we also have a lot of stuff to ballet and a lot of stuff to hip-hop, which has been seen as distasteful also, you know... Um, um, but I still, I gotta say, I'm still pissed off that you guys didn't get Save the Last Dance because it's... that was fucked up. Because it was like, you are the ballet hip hop, uh, yeah, where they come together. Yeah. That's yeah. your for... Reese's, your Reese's peanut butter for that. So yeah, it's like really no, for Reese's sure. cup. It, like... it, it, I can be honest because it feels like a beer <laughs> night. It fucked us up. Like yeah. for two weeks, my boy Mikey. He like was eating nonstop, and the Jeez. mood in that dark room felt dark. It yeah. was like we had to sit there editing Ant Man two, yeah. just pissed. You were pissed all those years later because Save the Last Dance was actually a pretty long time ago, and we are but, still and, holding. Yeah. 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 Save the Last Dance came out when again? Yeah. I think it was uh, uh, early two thousand. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but those things stick well, with you. Ant Man two has a reference to Save the Last Dance, and it pissed us off. Well, Do I you guys find that. that when you edit trailers, when you're pissed off, the trailer ends up looking kind of pissed? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh you get that my angry god, line. we did that for it's complicated. Yeah, that trailer is like if you watch it back, it's it has like these sort of angry tones to it. Yeah, 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 and a lot of red flashes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And you can with the way that sort of Snapchat works now, and you're able to do face filters. I do find myself running a lot of my trailers through Snapchat and actually making the characters angry with some of the. Uh, face <laughs> I've been noticing yeah. that on a lot of years. Yeah. That's yeah. so cathartic, That's crazy. man. Yeah. So you can yeah. make your 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 characters feel what you're feeling. So yeah, so it's like you know it's a. Uh, this is an older movie, but When Harry Met Sally, we did a re-release, re-trailer that one, and so we made them mad in that. Obviously, they're falling in love, but but they sort of they were able to be mad. That's oh, awesome. You made Meg Ryan mad. I made her mad. <laughs> really mad. Yeah. Hey, but you made Billy Crystal the baby face, so he looked. Billy like was baby face, which kind of made the orgasm scene in the cafe a little bit weird. But yeah, mad woman orgasm got a baby. But again, and that was in the trailer. That was in the recut of this trailer. That trailer fo uh, focused heavily on that moment. Well, then yeah. I'll have what she's having, lady, was Shrek. Yeah. <laughs> Which was, she was funny. Well, she was the Shrek that comes up from... No, she from was the not building, corner. yeah. She was, no, more so... She was the lady... You know the filter where you're kind of, like, under Shrek's sheet, like... Like, no, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, like you're fucking. She Shrek. was like filleting Shrek, and so she came up. She said, "I'll have what she's having," and it was kind of like double sexy. <laughs> the orgasm also. It's get off Shrek. Really, oh, like, double when the trailer is double what sexy. She is already having. Yeah, yeah. Like it's so incredible. You allow things to be weird. Like you make you let them be weird. Well, well what about you, man? Come on, yeah, spill the beans on your name and stuff. Right. Just spill the beans you on your name. Your night. Come yeah, on. Yeah, of course. I'm Release done. the receipts on your name. Yeah. I, well, I got it, guys. I'm. 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 I'm I'm Donnie Bun the third, mm -hmm. and I am Say again? Donnie Bun the third. Donnie Bun, and I uh, I work at Jonathan Trailer Thomas, and we do. <laughs> I mean, it's annoying because you guys do like a lot of fun stuff. I do a lot of the really fucking nasty, crazy horror uh, mm. trailers. Oh yeah, and I, mm. I work a lot on that. Slashers, and slashers, and I also am. Uh, I kind of double dipping, you know. I'm 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 the editor on a lot of these trailers, but they also call me the sounder because I figure out the perfect songs to put on a lot of these horror mm. trailers. Because I listen to music, I love radio. Mm -hmm. Radio is like one of my passions. Listening to the radio. Oh it's yeah, like, truly. Like I have a journal where I write down like my favorite songs of the day. You like music? 
I, yeah. I, I mean, love music. No way. Have we ever talked about this? No. I love music. That's insane. That's crazy. I think it's cool that you love radio because editing is sort of like, it's like a very future, very 21st century field, but radio is sort of 1920s. It is. And you've always yeah. sort of Like been... Jack FM has always come across yeah. as 1920s. Oh, no, no, yeah. Exactly, totally. like flappers. I mean, I'm just a little bespoke, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> I, I'm just like a little bit, I, I kind of a throwback guy and I love music and mm -hmm. I also reference, sometimes I'll, I'll like quote a fleet with Mac song when I'm like hanging out, just like that talking so to someone. Weird. It's really weird. It's really weird and like that's it's, so weird. It's fun, that's but, really but it's fun because I can hear a song and I can know exactly how to turn that into a horror song uh, for a trailer. Mm -hmm. To make what's it spooky. Key, Usually just making it what's the key? It's the key. You make it a minor key. That's oh, pretty easy. Yeah. So if you take any generic, like you throw a song out. Um, uh, get by Beluga. with a little help with my friends. Okay, so it's normally, this is the Beatles, right? So I get by with a little help from my friends, normal, right? But if I make it a little minor, <laughs> I turn it minor, it's, I get by with a little help from my friends. You know so much about music. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, you that was that definitely pitch minor. Perfect, the minor pitch version. Perfect, minor that was version. pitch perfect. That was so version. insane. It was scary. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And so I would throw that probably on some sort of horror movie where there's some, <clears throat> like a, a, a werewolf, like a, a good guy Ooh, turns into a werewolf. That, that ain't no friend of mine, let me just say. Uh, I would not get by with any help from a werewolf. No, no, yeah, way. no, no, no <laughs> way. We've heard this before. <laughs> We've heard this before. Don't get this guy started on this. No. Don't get him started on this. Right. Get start they are not right. Going on this. He'll, he'll get it going on this for hours. Oh, you yeah. really hate werewolves. Werewolves are not right. They are not right. <laughs> God, you hate them. Because yeah. weren't you asked to do Twilight and you turned it down? I turned it down. Well, I, I, I kind of pranked him because I used my Snapchat trick to sort of get, take it in and send it back, but all their faces are all fucking stupid. So, in there. so I said yes, but I pranked them. Yeah, that's, that's the a editor's classic trailer you. prank. Yeah. Man, and it so took a long... Like, kind of like the, the naughty ones in the trailer. Well, yeah, yeah, that's why we must be over here, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They put us in detention. Naughty and scary. <laughs> naughty and scary. Yeah, that's but, crazy. That's well, you're my dog, dude. I love you. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> I, was, I was good with a shake, but I actually prefer to hug. So, but you know, it's funny what you say about uh, making things in the minor key to make them spooky. Because we actually have a trick at Trailer Park Boys to sort of make it prestige. -y. Oh, and it's sort of similar. Mm. Oh, well, what is it? It's little kids, right? You take the little kids. Yeah, and I was going to say the same kids thing. Are sort yeah. of singing the song that normally grown ups sing, but yeah. when the little kids are doing it, you're like A little a little kid choir? You're like a little kid Catholic choir singing eh. we had a little kid Catholic choir singing uh Pop That Pussy mm -hmm. and it worked perfect for First Cow. <laughs> it um, was so good. Right. First yeah. Cow, that movie about Clint Eastwood is the president and instead of a wife he brings his he's a farmer president, he brings his cow into the Oval Office. Yeah, so First Cow, there's two different A twenty four movies called First <laughs> yeah, Cow. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. One Thomas is First is Cow <laughs> where it's a real movie where it's about this first person that brings a cow to America to start the agriculture uh, uh -huh. industry. And the second <laughs> first cow is where Clint Eastwood is a president and instead of bringing his wife, he brings a cow as a right. Yeah, I heard A twenty four really liked the title. <laughs> And so they like they, they went did, for two. Yeah, they, they went, went for two. two. You know what? If it ain't I heard, broke, don't fix. I heard that Clint Eastwood. You guys know he only does like two takes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But on first cow, every time it was a kissing scene with the cow, he did like twenty five takes. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and like it was cool. And I think people were like excited to see him work in a different way. But it was like, why does he want to kiss this? Is he is of he, all like, movies to stop doing multiple takes? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> to be like, this is where I stop. And there's a like, lot of kissing scenes. There was a lot of kissing. that cow. Yeah. <laughs> but so you put pop that pussy when you're just kissing the cow. Yeah. Choir, choir huh. singing "Pop That Pussy." Huh. It was. That's... It changed the game. Like we got a lot of great feedback from A24. They were pumped. Yeah. They were psyched. Totally. Honestly, cheaper than a little girls' choir. Uh, me and my bro over here. Yeah. Um, we get a synthesizer, and I just sit mm. on it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I sit on it and we put it up really high pitch. Yeah, we do all our own composing. Yeah, he just wow. sits in house. On, he sits on every instrument. That's if mm. it's a, a scarier movie. Like if Jack yeah. Black does a scary yeah. movie, uh -huh. I'll just sit on the synth. Because he did this thing. Uh, we we knew each other's kids too. Uh, called Butt Band. Where he was a one man butt band for the school talent show. Yeah, and super so funny. And so he'd just line up a bunch of instruments on the ground and he'd just sit on each one a little bit. That's just where my nickname asshole came from. Oh, that's <laughs> where it came from. I was that's wondering where asshole came from. I thought it was so just because you're generally a mean person. <laughs> nah. 
<laughs> no, he got that from the music thing. Yeah. yeah. So people saw you sitting it on your butt. They started calling you asshole. <laughs> so you're able. Is your butt able to know how to make something spooky? I mean, doesn't your butt accidentally make something funny sometimes? Oh well, that is a moment of genius when that happens. Yeah. When yeah. my butt does that. Yeah. But usually, it just is like. Mm -hmm. When I just yeah. like sit on the synth, because usually it's just like a synth sound. Yeah. Um, but yeah, every once in a while I'll sit on the synth and Todd over here will start giggling in the back and I'll be like, did I just make a funny sound? <laughs> yeah, he, he just sits on the synth until I giggle and then that's when we know we can stop. <laughs> but our wives are friends. Our wives oh, are friends. Yeah, totally. And you keep saying that in some way that you say you won't elaborate on it, right? <laughs> no, so, uh, I mean, like, I we work together we were in the dark all day long, and it's like, it's tough. It's like, you know, you're spending so much time with one person just working on one thing. So to get through the day, just knowing at the end of the day that our wives are friends, it Feels really better. changes uh, everything. Uh, it like, it just gives us a boost of did, so energy. Let me get this straight. When you guys go to work eight hours a day, they just go eight hours a day to be friends somewhere? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. they'll do laps around the park oh. with their strollers, and they're such good friends mm. that they're they won't friends. stop talking. Don't so you feel a little bit like you're over, I'm over here busting my ass to put food on the table, you're busting your ass to be friends? Isn't that a little weird? <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. Fear night started. No, no, no. Fear night naughty, started. Fear night started. Being naughty, he's being naughty, you gotta forgive well, my I guys. Mean, how does one bust their ass to be friends? I don't know, it seems like, you know, your wife starts spending a lot of time just like, exhausting themselves around the park. Like, how do they have this much to talk about? Like, what's those, what's, what's their chemistry like? I just don't well, their work. chemistry's electric, that's the thing. It's just like, <laughs> you won't even, like, if you get like two Sid and Nancy. Sid and Nancy. That's bad. Like Sid and Nancy. Those are That's their names. That's toxic. That's not good. Sid and Nancy. Don't Sid and Nancy love each other too? They did yeah, a pretty... but it's poisonous. But that's what I'm saying. Well, they have the a thing. great time. They're good friends. But you know, it's funny that you say that because you don't know the end of the Sid and Nancy story. And I find that so classic trailer editor because for yes. us, we're interested in the setup. We only know the middle and the setup. Want yeah. to milk want it. Sid and Nancy, two lovers who had a blast. For you sure. You don't care what happens after. For I, sure. I, I, well, when I'm editing a trailer, I will only ever get to the climax. I will never finish it. I'll never finish that climax because I want to be wondering what the movie's about too when I watch yeah. it. Right. Oh we're my God. Gonna, yeah. We're not gonna show the ending anyways. We can't show the ending of a movie. I mean, so many people, like my my boss is always kind of like, oh, you're getting too close to the end there. Huh. Like this is a, a two thirds of the way through clip. Yeah. And I can only put those in the montages where you're like, uh oh, Someone's face has turned into a werewolf or whatever, you know? Uh, That's bro, where you have bro, to put that. Hey, man. Oh, yeah, what sorry. the hell are you? Why are you going to bring that crap in? I guess this I got it on the brain. Room. <laughs> Don't, dude. I, I mean, that's because my wife. Let's keep it light. It's beer night. They they just keep it light. Sorry, guys. They ain't dogs. They ain't no. people. And they ain't got no place in a, in a life of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get this guy started. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, shit. We got to get this guy yeah. started. They're yeah. angry. Yeah. And I don't want to make this happen. That is so true. They ain't dogs. They ain't people. And they don't got no room in your life. My son had to tell me that Harry Potter doesn't end up going to college. And this whole time, I thought he ended up going to college. That's crazy because no movie has ever been I don't think college. they ever, and I kept telling this guy, they never set that up. That no. was never an expectation. I don't even know which college exists. Well, you they're guys... in clothes that look like they're about to go to college. No, those are just robes. <laughs> I know yeah, that so you... the spoiler of this is not, it's that they go to Hogwarts. It's, it's high school. Sorry, uh, go ahead. Well, the crazy thing is that you guys cut the Harry Potter, all the Harry Potter trailers, and a lot of people, they're question is going to be Jack Black ain't in that, monkeys ain't in that. <laughs> but actually, right. Hagrid is sort of has a monkey quality. So I think yeah, that was totally probably large yeah. monkey. Yeah. Big ape. There are also, uh, do people do say that Dementors are the monkeys of the Harry Potter universe. They so, say that a lot. They yeah. say that a lot. Oh, yeah, I mean, they hear that, that every day. Yeah. Uh, if you're on the message boards like I am still in 2022. <laughs> uh, that's a classic thing. <laughs> then that's something they say all the time. Oh, here's a question. What are you, what's your guys' favorite transition? Like oh, I transition. love Ooh. talking about transition. Iris Ugh. open. Iris open. Iris open. Talking. I love you, little circle it, goes big. I yeah. love it. You use it all the time in and your trailers. It's you almost know, like a more of a trailer for Iris open. I, I call yeah. that an RLT, Reverse Looney Tunes. RLT. <laughs> Iris open. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Iris open. People will get pretty. You know, people will often think that they're watching Star Wars because that's pretty much the only place you see those now or my trailers. So that's the way that George Lucas and I kind of got linked up in the public consciousness as two kind of equals because yeah. we both are the only guys still doing that. I are you guys friends? Oh, yes. We are very good friends. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much 
The guy does not come up with an alien without telling me. Holy really? shit. Yeah. He's texting oh, yeah. that so, yeah. <laughs> And he's coming up with aliens still, even though he has nothing to do with Star Wars now. <laughs> he he just, just, like, I heard he just ideas. does it on his free time. He pretty much spends Saturday, Sunday, pretty much makes coffee, <laughs> goes out. He's got a very beautiful wife. They spend all day, have coffee together. Then he'll do pretty much eight hours solid alien ideation. Hey, weekends. And, Those are your shows. What do those texts look like? Do they come to you one by one or do they come in both? Is it just a name or is it an idea? Yeah. Does he send you a brief? Well, it's a lot of voice notes. And it's funny that you ask if they come all at once because very often, you know, I actually spend my Saturday with my two kids, my two sons, David and... Uh, Irene, and so, <laughs> and so I can tell who's your favorite. <laughs> and so, so often I'm out there, you know, taking them to the zoo or yeah. taking them, and I'm being bombarded with voice notes from George Lucas. Not can to you mention, play one of them? Please play one. Oh my god, he's gonna fucking kill me for this. <laughs> Exposing his Saturday. Green oh. alien. Green alien. <laughs> <laughs> God, That's that it. man is a creative genius. <laughs> He's That's a creative genius. So, so, Nobody can does it like him. But you can imagine me at the zoo trying to say, you know, trying to get the elephants to shut the fuck up so that I can hear George Lucas's voice notes, which that one was pretty clear, but a lot of times he's recording them from across the room. He has his wife to record on the phone and he oh, yells God. across the room. Oh. So no, it's not very good for me. But what I say back to him. I say these are all great ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that thing where you can't respond? Like sometimes I feel weird when someone sends me a voice memo, like not responding in a voice memo. Also, so do yeah. you have to be like super encouraging, or can you just fire off a text? Well, a lot of times <laughs> I give them the double exclamation point reaction. Oh, that really good. just means I, oh. I was I reacted strongly to this, and you know I think the reason it's not just the Iris Open that led George to be a friend of mine. It's also that he knows that I've edited a lot of trailers, seen a lot of aliens. I, right. I have some insights, and I don't know if it's okay, but I have some insights into the aliens that are forthcoming uh, in well, the movies. Well, that's great. Yeah. And so yeah. he's like, is this alien going to be on the big screen before I put him there? Mm, so he he's using you almost to text it out, how did the green alien go? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how did and, it hit? How did it land? And look, <laughs> let me just say, <laughs> if you pit play on the next Star Wars, and you might... Not be surprised to find a green alien. I bet you. Sounds I like can almost guarantee it's green alien. Sounds like it's a green alien, green alien. Yeah. There's yeah. two different ones. Yeah. I, I would say my favorite feature that I like to use in trailers is I love to use a record scratch. Oh, I, yes. I think it's still fun. I mean, I'm a music guy. They call me the sounder, right? I mm. love a record scratch. Even in horror films, there's always a record scratch. Yeah, and you do it so well because you always take kind of a log line, right at, log line reaction from a movie. It's kind of like one of those, uh, yep. say what? Yeah, exactly. There's a, there's a man chasing me with a knife? Well, exactly. you're famous for using the moment from Goodfellas where Ray Liotta says, you're probably wondering how I got here. You put it in all sorts of different movies. I put it everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I put it everywhere. Especially in, in your horror movies. My horror yeah. movies. I also did the trailer for The Revenant. I cut it in The Revenant. Mm -hmm. You're probably wondering how I got oh, here. Oh, yeah. I that love that. When Ray Liotta cutting, said that. He's cutting his horse open. Yeah. And it freeze frames and you hear Ray Liotta's voice going, you're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> exactly. I, I love the Hereditary trailer. Yeah, oh, that yeah. was really good. With that, that poor girl's head on the ground. And I like, I said, you're probably wondering, wondering how I got, I got here. Yeah. Yeah. I actually went in there and I, I moved the lips with my myself. You I, did that on set, right? You, I did you that on set. You moved the lips of on set. And I said, you excuse me, to, you're yeah. going to want this. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to want this. But our, Trust me, I can see the future. You're going to want this. That's bold, man. Well, I, I love that. Ari Aster has me on set for all of his movies. To um, move the lips. Yeah, to move the lips. To, to he lip lets me, right? I get full lip access for anything I want to do. <laughs> so I was there for Midsummer. I was there for Hereditary. I mean, I, it's 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 an honor to be there. Well, I liked how in Midsummer when it shows the person, can I, spo can I do a spoiler? Yeah. 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 No, I like the trailers, come on. I, I mean, like... our wives haven't seen it yet. So yeah, so, so we wouldn't. Don't They're not them. listening to this crap. No, 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 no. They're no. busy being friends. They're on a walk. <laughs> well, you know, I like in, in Midsummer where you did something pretty interesting because you have that one guy who gets cut open and sort of splayed up on the, hung up in the shed. Absolutely. And then you cut in on his face and said, as far as I can remember, I wanted to be a gangster. Yeah. It didn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> the other but clip. It was the other clip from it was, Goodfellas that I really liked. Really, really, it was yeah, yeah. really kind of. It, it made me want to see the movie. It was exactly. Like, it was like, I have a lot of questions. Yeah. And that's what you want to 
to plan an audience. And dead. that's what I was getting. I was getting regret. I was getting, well, this man's never going to get to be a gangster now right. that he's dead here. You For know? sure. And so I wanted to have that. And yeah, I'm glad you noticed that. A lot of people actually completely don't see that in the trailer. So oh. you never heard from like Scorsese or anybody when you rip off Goodfellas? I don't think it's ripping off. I mean, he made the movie and it's out there. As a trailer guy, you take things from a movie and you put them in. It doesn't matter which movie it's from and it doesn't matter which movie it's advertising. It's, right. it's, it's all meat to me. You You're right. I mean? It is meat. It's, it's like, just meat. And so I just, can use it. Let me just say that Ray Liotta, you know, he, he did. He passed away. Rest he, was soul, a, rest he was an peace. amazing beer actor. And beer night. Cheers, uh, cheers to Ray. Face cheers, to beer Ray. Night. cheers to Ray. And I think, you know, from what I know about him, he would have wanted to have his voice put into a character that didn't really make a lot of sense, didn't have much to yeah. do with his movie. He, I remember sure. him because, always talking about, hearing rumors, him always talking about, like, you know, if my voice could be everywhere, that'd be awesome. And even when it didn't make sense, right? Yeah. And yeah. Even when it didn't oh, yeah, that's, that's what's so <laughs> great about it. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's so one of those famous quotes <laughs> you see on, I, I have a book of film quotes. and Ooh. Oh, what's it called? Oh, wow. Uh, it's called. Is that Big Book of Film Quotes? Yeah, it's called Big Book of Film Wait, Quotes. Wait, you didn't tell me that, that you had this book of film See, quotes. See, I'm, <laughs> I'm amazed that you, here's my thing. <laughs> yeah, I have this book. Wait, I but, never knew that. Well, yeah, I, I have this book, um, and I bought it at a Barnes and Noble. That's crazy. Um, I bought it probably, oh gosh, I want to say seven years ago. Wait, that hold on, wait, hold on. This is the first time you're hearing that he has this book. I didn't know he had this book. That's crazy that you didn't know he has this book. It's a book of film quotes. No, yeah, man. I, I got it. It, it, it. It's one of those books that's so generic; it doesn't even really have an author. It just like Did says what it, it like, says, like written by the internet, right? Like written, <laughs> yeah. by, written by stuff from the yeah. internet. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Sorry, to, I I feel like I'm making this all about me, but I have this <laughs> no, on my I, coffee table. I and, just like um, didn't know. Like well, that's awesome. To yeah, me, I'm thanks. sort of you know I'm not a reader. I like things in one uh, format that I can get through in about you know a minute and thirty seconds. Yeah. That's trailer. a trailer. A trailer. Yeah. So for me, yeah. m books. Movies, CDs. Uh, I'm not that interested. Mm. I want it short. I want it fast. You know. And so when I when I meet a trailer editor who's a reader, I'm sort of, I'll be honest, I don't trust them very much. After that. <laughs> okay. Well, I should I should clarify. These film quotes are really short. And you read okay. how many of them at a time? <laughs> oh, I can. I swear to God, I can only sit through like three. Right. So I'm reading like three <laughs> sentences a night tops. Tops. All right, you're an editor. You're well, an editor. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We're good. You're that that editor. brings up a good point. How do you guys deal with long emails? Because I can't get, once it <laughs> notes, passed the subject notes, line. Emails about and if the trying to criti critique on your work, that's hard. Yeah, and if the subject line doesn't give me the full three act structure really quickly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I yeah. go, I don't know what if I'm I about to well, let me just say. Email I'm walking into when yeah. I read the title, I, game over. For yeah. me, and let me just say, and I think you probably mean the same thing. It's a, really a two act structure because again, the third act. I am not interested oh, in it. I don't think any too. of us... No. True, but I need a tease, my guy. Okay, all right. I need a little tease. But no, con no conclusion. No, yeah. no, 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 We'll no, save no, that for so the right. second trailer. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The first trailer is all, what's this movie about? The second trailer is... What's the ending? Exactly, that's the, the end of the, end of the, movie. the trailer <laughs> that we did for <laughs> Deathly Hollows. We did the Harvard logo, and it was like... They, maybe that, they go to college. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That was confusing. <laughs> yeah, I remember was everybody going, See, why? So, <laughs> so we had to was, tease it. I got to say, this was him. This was all <laughs> him because he thought that he could maybe trick J.K. Rowling into writing them into college for the next movie. Yeah. I want it so bad. <laughs> well, I mean, and then, you know, I, got, I can't really uh, get down on you because one of the best trailers I think we all know is um, Social Network. Great. Uh, you know, I mean, the thing that's the children's yeah. choir. Creep. I mean, children's that's choir. Children's so, choir. For, so for me as a trailer editor, I'm always trying to have Harvard be the last thing that's mentioned because that movie actually takes place at Harvard. That yeah. must have been it yeah. because, yeah. like, when they flash that Harvard in their trailer, and it's like. <laughs> You're, uh, it's just, a, it's a, yeah, it's the, the magnum opus. Say the line from the trailer. Um, it's, uh, what is it? It's, um, how did I get here? <laughs> it's, um. <laughs> Wait, did you edit that one? <laughs> yes. Oh, oh my what? God. Guilty. You're probably oh, wondering what? how I got here. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, Aaron uh, Sorkin and David Fincher got together and they said, we're such big names, no one can know that anyone else worked on this ever. So I'm not allowed to really mention that I worked mm. on Social Network. I can say I'm friends with the person who edited Social Network. And, and, so, <laughs> like you're friends with Mickey Mouse. Yeah, like, like the Disneyland friends. rules. It's Disneyland rules. Speak I'm friends with the Social Network trailer editor. And look, speaking of things that you're not allowed to know, mm. do you all find it. now movies are kept under such uh, lock and key, particularly the Marvel movies, uh, um, things like that? The NDAs I've had to sign. So 
what they've been doing lately at my trailer house, and I wonder if they've been doing it at, at with you guys, is they'll send us the movie. They say we need a trailer of this, but they give it a different name, like uh, Rachel's Bat Mitzvah. You think you're editing a video yeah. for a Bat Mitzvah, but really you're, you're yeah. editing it. And they always, use that fucking happens. name yeah. every time. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I go, I've already done I've Rachel's, already bat, done Rachel's mitzvah. bat Mitzvah. Yeah. 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 It's like dummy sides. They do it all the fucking time. I mean, Ant-Man yeah. Ant -Man 1 was just called Timmy's First Birthday, and I was fucking confused. Yeah. Because yeah. I where was like... Where's Timmy? Yeah, where's Timmy? There's no cake. He's supposed to be one. What is this guy shrinking down? I couldn't figure it out. I, I'm working on the trailer for uh, the, the newest Avatar, Avatar 3, mm -hmm. and it came in as uh, Rocco's Briss. Why is it always this way? Why is it always this way? Why is it always this way? Classic beer night quote. Why is it always this way? I wish it didn't have to be this way. I wish it didn't. I mean, it's better. I wish they could just say, this is King Kong Fireball Island. But instead, they have to say, I love King Kong Fireball Island. This is Lady Bird 2. And I'm like, I know it's not Lady Bird 2. Yeah, exactly. What are you talking about? Or Lady Bird's Briss, and then you're like, what? Yeah. What? And you're like, hey yeah. guys, I've what? edited like four ladybirds Briss, I and know. they're not, they're no. never the same. I'm Why is it always this way? It's better than before, because it hasn't always been this way. Back then, for School of Rock, they locked us in a room. And we couldn't get out. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's like, we couldn't get the footage. It wasn't on our desktop. It was on theirs. It's crazy. Because it was... there's no way anyone saw that movie coming. It's not like... <laughs> <laughs> it's they not were spoiling like... nothing. It was not a big... And by the way, oh, and they locked us up. I well, remember... I don't know. There were a few Jack Black fans sitting outside the trailer house just waiting. Waiting. They they said, we heard, we saw on Deadline a movie's coming. And <laughs> oh, so they, announced they were at every trailer deadline. house. They were kind of camped out at every place where movies are made. Really, there were a lot of these yeah. people. Yeah. They any, really, it was before place. the internet, so they had to yeah. just spread, cast a really wide net. Well, I remember you guys edited the trailer for School of Rock. You got out of the room, and then you thought, I'm going to make a brief change, and then you wrote, directed, and edited the movie Room. You got the idea for Room from being locked yeah, in the room. Yeah, yeah, and then we made and that We haven't movie. talked about that. Yeah. And that's yeah. such Here's a beautiful the movie. It's it's Oscar yeah. award-winning yeah. movie, Room. Yeah. We're here for trailers. We're not here right. for films, totally. but I'll say we did have a little run in filmmaking. And sometimes I, you don't make a movie. Sometimes a movie happens to you. That's it. And, and you have no choice but to make it. I actually ended up cutting that trailer for you guys. It's oh my God. This is such it a crazy. Meta. And, and Meta. what was it like? The, what are the biggest differences between making a movie and making a trailer for you guys? So it's so interesting. What we found was when you are making a movie, you have to know how it ends. Oh, so right. it's like this Oof. really, uh, it's like kind of a mind fuck. And it's not written, I guess, for, it's not already filmed for you, which is no, crazy. And we learned yeah. what scenes were. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. yeah. And, but I mean, here's the thing. If you're going to do a full feature, if you're like in the trailer scene and you want to like transition to full, full length narratives, I'll say get a good support system because yeah. you want to make sure the people at home have somewhere to go and have someone <laughs> to talk to. And thank God <laughs> our wives are friends. Thanks God. So, I thank every god. I so thank god. Thank every god. I know that. <laughs> I, know I that. thank every god for that. So movie, I know movie production is not so regular in the way that trailer editing is eight hours a day. Mm -hmm. So you're saying your wives, you guys were on set 12 hours a day and what? Your wives were talking and hanging? Well, our this wives guy's wives. Why, why, is, why is it so hard to understand? <laughs> I your just wives don't, are friends, so man. So you guys. You, you guys, smell the bullshit too. I know. You. Yeah, I'm, I'm just. There's something there. I just don't understand if you leave and they have so much time to be friends. <laughs> like, I would just. How, well, how, what state is their friendship? I though? mean, they're really, really good friends. <laughs> so every time it's proportional to the hour that we're gone, like, they can't get enough of each other. And so, yeah. like, if we're only working for eight, day, eight hours, like, sure, yeah, they'll come home after that eight hours, uh, after hanging out. But if we're gone for longer, you know, they're not mad. They say, oh, fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm so excited I to get to like hang out with that. my friends. I do yeah. not like that. No, we told them. I do right. not like the wife saying, hell yeah, and I'll she censor said you when you leave. <laughs> <laughs> because I do not think that that's right. No, she said, we said we have to go to Atlanta for eight months. And both of them just got so freaking excited. <laughs> they were so excited to but be But that's in how that movie happened, guys. Let me ask you something. Are they in love? 
They're really, really good, good friends. friends. Yeah. I would let it lie. <laughs> I'd let it lie. I don't think we're going to break through tonight, so I think we got to let them have the fun. Not on beer night. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. yeah sorry. beer night. Well, you know. They're really good friends. Beer night. Really good I'm going to ask the hard question. I'm gonna ask it. What's your favorite editing tool in Adobe? Because mm. I know we're all Adobe heads. There's no freaking app. Don't overthink freaks. it. First thing that comes to your mind. First thing that comes to your mind. Razor tool. Yeah, I'm, the save feature. Sorry wow. to be teacher's child. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm boom. literally, I'm gagging no. right now. I'm sorry. Your favorite part of a Ferrari is the seatbelt. I'm sorry. Uh. Would we be able to do anything if we couldn't save? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yes, because at Trailer Park Boys, at, we're a bit reckless, and we. Do not, if the trailer don't get done before the computer gets turned <laughs> off, it does not, it yeah. never comes out. It don't get, we do not save. <laughs> it goes from, and by the way, if we get a note back from the studio saying, actually the scene isn't allowed to be in the trailer, maybe there's nudity, maybe there's a spoiler, we have to reconstruct the entire thing because we already deleted all everything. We already know straight from import to export for you. I take That's a, insane. You know what my favorite uh, <laughs> editor's tool is? What? My Phillips drill <laughs> because what? I put it through the hard drive no, you all don't. the time. No You're way. a naughty guy, but, man. To, because I'm sort of to be reckless. Wow. What you are you, crazy. What man. are you drilling into the hard drive? I drill the hard drive so it doesn't work anymore. I put a big <laughs> hole in it. And, uh, you guys buy and hard drives. I take my kids. You show your kids. I take my, this is something, a lesson I'm trying to give my kids. I say, don't be. David and Irene? David and Irene is out. Well, David and Irene, yes. <laughs> we. I'll, I'll take them and I'll say, you know, you can be, you basically have two options in life. Be cool or be a fucking not that cool at all. Wow. <laughs> I'll take a drill Those are the two options. Yeah, that's yeah. so good to teach your kids. Yeah, yeah. That's so yeah. real. That's yeah. actually <laughs> really true. That's such a good parent. Man, that's such a good thing. It's not to not be cool. It's to be cool or to not be that cool, cool at, at all. all. Cool at yeah. all. Not be that cool at all. Dang. Well, what are your favorite tools? If I'm such a freaking kiss ass. Slide. I'll say it. I love the slide feature. Whoa. You gotta watch the whole movie just sliding on by real quick. Real quick. <laughs> Jesus like. Christ. Dude, doing that with your finger. <laughs> well, it's a slide maneuver. It feels like, you know, you're doing something special to the movie. Mm. And a uh, uh, three L's for fast, fast, oh, fast. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? oh, I love three L's. Three L's oh, make the movie go fly. You gotta just watch all my Marvel characters talk in a high-pitched voice. Three L's, that's what he took when he hit save three times. Shut oh. the fuck up, man. <laughs> you're a freaking nerd, bro. Shut the he fuck up. If you look like there isn't a full uh, moon, I would turn into a werewolf. Don't room. talk about Dude. that stuff. <laughs> These things are weird. Like, let's be honest, they're not that normal. <laughs> We know that's what's interesting. I know, but what's that to you? Like, what's it matter? <laughs> like, like yeah. what is the what is They're the beat? A lot lives. of things are not that normal. <laughs> like, like, what did it do to affect you? This whole species. I don't like to think about something that's a little bit one thing and a little bit another. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, like do a, you get mad about? at like Italian ice for being kind of sorbet and kind of ice cream? If a werewolf were eating it, I'd get really mad. I can't answer your other question because I'm still thinking. But if a werewolf were eating it, I'd be really oh mad. Dang. What are your guys' favorite tools? Uh, mine's Apple Quit. Time to go home. Apple, Apple, Apple Quit. quit. <laughs> Bro's never used a computer in his life. Yeah, I will be honest. I do most of the editing. He's kind Don't of the idea. fucking do that, Todd. He's kind of the ideas guy. Oh, that's fun. You kind of sit in the back and think about... That's where Harvard came from. Yeah, I just went school, university, university. Yeah, because I, <laughs> I don't, I'll be honest, you guys, I don't have a creative bone in my entire body. I've never come up with an idea in my entire life, so I can't really do this. Once I gave him a coloring book, once I gave him a coloring book, he put it through the shredder. Whoa. Aww. Which is kind of crazy. How long have you guys, you know, know, yeah. you guys known each other? Brother, I guess, I guess since yeah, the Yeah, we're end. brothers, yeah. And brothers, right, I mean, yeah, sorry, yeah. Yeah, our, yeah our, our whole because community our, knows each I other. I mean, our parents are friends. Yeah. They're really, really good <laughs> friends. Do your parents hang out when you guys are at work too? All oh, the time. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> they can't hang out when they can't hang out any other time. Because our parents and our wives all share a car. <laughs> 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 Why is that? Well, <laughs> Okay, so the people in our lives, we've sworn them to a very strict contract. Okay. Oh, we're we said if it. you well, I let's I do it. Like let's I should, do it. No, I should just have it out in the open. They said if we're going to have a relationship, we need to because we 
don't have a very clear understanding of most things. We need things to be laid out in black and white. Okay. If we're going to continue to have a relationship in some way, we need to know exactly how you stand to the other person. So we have a chart outlined of who is friends and who isn't and how much time they have to spend with one another. Yeah. Wow. That's just how we, I mean, we're artists. I mean, everybody at this table, we all have weird I mean, shit, you know what I mean? And that's how we do it. We're freaks. But listen yeah. to this. <laughs> when you become a trailer editor, you get a lot of power over other people mm. because yeah. they know that you have the ability to synthesize. You're like yeah. Adam Sandler and Click. I mean, you you got the remote. <laughs> literally. Yeah. You can change, literally. You can change literally. realities. I, literally, I do, because he gave me that because I edited the trailer for that. I made it it's really, really He funny. gave you the remote? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Whoa. Click trailer. Do not work. Oh, it was just one big fart joke. That was so fun. <laughs> yeah. I had him farting a lot in the trailer. Well, <laughs> here's the thing, and this is a question that I have. Okay, someone gives you a movie that isn't that good. I think that the trailer editor's dilemma is, do I cut this movie trailer together to make it look bad and so people don't see this fucking badass, awful, bunk movie? Or do I manipulate them and make mm -hmm. a trailer that looks good? And so these people that don't deserve the money make money off of this bad product. Mm. And I manipulate the world into giving them the money that they don't deserve. Like, how do you guys feel? Like, we we are in a way manipulators. Mm. Yeah, there's totally. blood on our hands for sure. Yeah, yeah. Especially if someone really wanted to see a movie, drove over to the theater really mm -hmm. fast, and slammed into a little kid who was trying to cross the street. Is that <laughs> yes. what you're talking about? Are you yeah, talking about that? Well, yeah. Oh yeah, you make them want to see that movie we so badly. Yeah. Take what's, off. Yeah. what's the biggest blood on your hands? Other than if that happened, which we can never <laughs> confirm. <laughs> what What is the biggest blood on your hands in a trailer that you made for a, a good Ooh. trailer for a bad mm. movie? Mm. Well, we really made Mamma Mia 2 look like it was going to be way more about Amanda Seyfried's pregnancy than it was. Yeah. Oh, oh, and yeah. she had two days on set. And you know what I mean? So we had like <laughs> most so an hour. Like <laughs> it was really, I just like, I cannot sleep at night because I know there are so many people looking for a pregnancy narrative mm -hmm. who drove to that theater expecting a lot of that. And yeah. they didn't get that at all from the movie. She Truly. only revealed that in the last like five or so minutes of the film. And That's listen, they all true. drove to that theater and we don't know what happened on their way there to the theater. We right, have no right. idea. I hope to God they had license and they drove responsibly. I hope to God everyone is alive. And if there were a fender bender, you know, you want to hope. I think most movie trailer editors go to sleep saying, Gosh, I hope if there's a fender bender, both people have insurance because it can be really <laughs> like every night. I think every about that all night. the time. Really. <laughs> the last thing I think about right before I shut my eyes, I go, Gosh, yeah. if there's a fender bender, I hope both people because, have insurance. Well, because here's the thing I hope both parties you, brought their identification. You're looking at this scratch on, on a car, it's very small, but the cost to repair it can sometimes be a thousand dollars. Astronomical. Uh, no. Or more. It yeah. keeps us up. It's the small things that keep us up. Yeah. Yeah. Blood on your hands? My biggest blood on my hands. I made um, uh, I made the trailer for Mare's Story look like a Marvel movie, and mm. that was old habits die hard, brother. Yeah, yeah I got confused. <laughs> old habits die hard. It was kind of like hard cuts. Do, do, do. Where'd you get that footage of Robert Downey Jr.? Robert Dan, so I stole it from Iron Man One. Mm. Um, well, let's be honest, that guy talks a lot. He's pretty much always he running is, his fucking he's mouth. He's running, running, running. Yeah, running yeah his there's mouth a lot of set footage of him talking. Why did you got, do it? It was well, I just got confused. You know, I kind of like <laughs> messed up my labeling in my edit. So all of a sudden, Mary's story. There was a scene in there I'd never seen before, and it was Robert Downey Jr. wearing like a red uh, power suit, talking about how marriage is over and overrated and all this stuff. I thought. Yeah, that's it. That's probably part of the movie. Turns out it was a cut scene from Iron Man 1. So mm. I cut it. it unfortunately, uh, people were pretty pissed when they walked in. There was no shoot 'em ups. There was no big explosions. There was no, nothing of that. And you know? especially because Adam Driver is a very big, strong guy. Yeah. So yeah. you're probably watching the movie for the first 40 minutes. And you think, this guy is a very strong guy. And yeah. So I'm probably in the right movie because he's the well, type yeah, of that's strong guy. Strong. That's yeah. the thing about yeah. Mary's story when we watch it the first 40 minutes. It's just mostly about how strong it's got to be. Yeah. So, and you know, in the trailer, I'm doing my classic Marvel thing of action scene, action scene, action scene, 30 seconds for hot body reveal, <laughs> you know, so that's what we did. We did action scene of them getting divorced, action scene of them getting divorced, action scene of them getting divorced, 30 seconds of Adam Driver body. Yeah, totally. You know, just like a really f chiseled guy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's probably the biggest blood in my hands. A kid died. Um, 
Whoa. Whoa. Ha, has to be, well, how, done that. How? I don't want to talk about it, but a kid <laughs> please, did die. Please. Please. I'd rather not, but a kid did die. Listen, we just told you about our weird charts with our wives and our family. Explain what the well, kid okay, is. So, it's beer night, dude. Yeah, it's beer night. What happens to beer night? Oh, cheers. 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 Yeah. Uh, I cut the trailer so quickly, the flashes caused him to have an aneurysm. Oh, God. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so. It's an occupation. That's and really tough. That's the first thing they teach you in your first year of trailer editing school, which we know it's a seven years program. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but the first Where'd year is all about. Uh, I went to Harvard, the one they were talking about. <laughs> but, oh, um, that, oh, the one that they mentioned earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the one they mentioned. Like yeah, that was. I know that one. But they don't give you your mouse until you learn um, about not putting lights. Oh yeah. You know oh, well, the God. first year is very experimental. It's mostly they send you out into the wilderness area, sort of uh, Papua New Guinea area, mm -hmm. and they give you, you know, a rock, a saw, and a couple apples. They say make a trailer. <laughs> And yeah. so, you know, obviously it requires him out of the box yeah. thinking. But yeah. the What's the best trailer you saw out of that experience? I saw some crazy ones. Too. I mean, all those film school trailers. I always just saw a bunch of people, you know, drug dealers and gun sh fight up. So oh, many yeah. cigarettes. cigarettes. So many star wipes. Yeah, yeah a lot yeah. of star uh, wipes. The apple star wiping across the rock. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it was probably that one or one like that, something yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah. I, what I love too, I mean, we don't talk about this as trailer editors a lot, but something that is pretty important is, you know, much like law enforcement, if you screw up, they ask you to turn in your mouse, mm -hmm. you know? Oh God, you reminded me Which of Which is help, really partner. hard how to do now because a lot of times I edit on my laptop it's still. connected, So yeah. I, have to, I have to cut out the trackpad with a saw. And they make you. They they make make you. And they make yeah. you. I keep my, my kitchen knives very sharp because I know that the authorities could march through my door any second and make me cut out my track pad. And, and, I, and I respect the, I, I back the blue. I mean, so we all, I, I, so we all back the blue. Yeah. I think we all back the blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, so what's, um, what's well, before we wrap up, what's, uh, what's everybody editing right now? Oh, what trailer? That's a great question. What are you guys excited we for? We to talk about it. Yeah, we love to talk about this stuff? Well, I can well, tell you guys. Yeah. Uh, I was shipped a trailer. Now, of course, the classic subterfuge. The name I was given was Annabelle gives birth to two bouncing baby boys. <laughs> okay. But I don't think that's what it is. Bouncing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because the first thing that happens is a gorilla crosses frame, and then actually it should have been sent to you guys. And I do not mean to cause any. Uh, I mean, you, you, hey, I, I mean, it? we're we're cool. Like, Listen, we, yeah, we're yeah. financing a new film. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. So the first thing that happens is a gorilla crosses flame frame punches out. Jack Black, I oh. feel weird about this. No, hey, I no, feel no, no, like we, so. No, Jack Black's no, no, no. in it too. Yeah, no, it's not. No, I, it's fine. No, it's not personal. I don't know anything about it. It's called Annabelle's Bouncing Baby Boys are delivered. It could be something else, <laughs> but it just so happens that there is a gorilla, Jack Black, and they seem to be on some sort of landmass that's in the sea. But look, mm. it don't. It does not matter. And, and what's the title yeah. of the film called that they gave you? Annabelle gives birth to two. When did they baby send that boys. to you? Just curious. Uh, we got it about three weeks ago. I've been cutting it. Oh, um, how big is the gorilla? I'm it's not. It ain't. It's not small. <laughs> it's really quite big. Yikes! It has a. It's about. You know, okay. I don't want to say Empire State Building size, but um, it, it could wrap mm. its body around sort of a, a spire. Have you um? Yeah. Have you talked to Matt lately? I th um. Who's Matt? Like, is anything weird? Our oh, boss. Is that your wife? No. Is that uh, your wife? No, no that's Matt's not, not my wife. <laughs> no, uh, that's our that's our contact on the at the King Kong. No, 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 it's fine though. We we will talk about this later. The movie doesn't look that good. It looks, I mean, Jack Black is is doing some pretty funny stuff. So funny! Damn. What a funny guy! What a but funny yeah. Anyway, guy. so look, damn. I don't mean to cause any problems. That's no, what I'm no, editing. it's okay. Hey, listen, jobs shop in and out for all of us. I oh, think yeah. this is yeah. normal. Yeah, it's just this part of it. Uh, so what I'm cutting right now is called. Uh, Tony's dad's funeral. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's the burner name. Uh, mm -hmm. It starts this weird thing. It's kind of like the school, and they're like looking for a substitute. And for some reason, it's this. Oh man, you know, I'm realizing it's a school for monkeys. Oh, Ooh. or like bigger than monkeys, and huh. Huh. looking for a substitute. And I guess. Now I'm realizing they find Jack Black, and they, oh and gosh, but he loves music. That's so interesting. How big are the monkeys again? <sighs> I wouldn't say they're small. Wait, but oh, this isn't okay. Annabelle giving birth to two bouncing baby boys. No, 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 no. This is Tony's dad's funeral. That's a completely mm. separate movie. Uh, so there's a different movie. So there's another one. Um, um, okay. I'm editing a movie called, well, burner title is Ezekiel's Confirmation. <laughs> <laughs> and 
right now, I mean, I'm I'm almost positive that it's the Meg too. Ooh. Oh. Um, but. Uh, okay, sharks. Yeah, shark horror movie. This is my jam, you know, and I'm excited. I added a really fun, uh, scary song uh, on it. Um, I'm doing Baby Shark in a Minor Key. Ooh. Oh, can you that's, oh, that's really scary. Can you, can you, can you, you grace us with it? Baby Shark, do, 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 Baby Shark. So when I get into it, I go, Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. I've got like chills. Scary. This in my guy mouth. knows music inside like, and out. Like my God, what you just else. did right there. No, I yeah. should music definitely be something else. Yeah. Yeah. Music's a tool. <laughs> it's not my life. It's a tool. Loves you know what I mean? Gotta be something else. <laughs> Music's a tool. It's not my life. Yeah. No, for um, sure. Wow. But I will say, I got to this part in the trailer. I've been, you know, I've been scrubbing and scrubbing, scrubbing, and scrubbing, looking for moments. There's a part where um, uh, Riley Keogh's character uh, mm -hmm. gets eaten, and she goes inside the Meg's big belly, and there's <laughs> um, there's uh, a gorilla. There's a gorilla in the stomach. What the fuck? Jack Black is feeding him peanut butter. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Like as a bonding moment or like a cute <laughs> scene? I, I mean, um, I haven't watched it. I'm taking it out of context. I'm definitely is, throwing it on the half second at the end. This that's is gonna really, you. this is really weird. Um, we're definitely gonna have to look into this. Um, in the meantime, we are cutting together a trailer that actually our wives made. Um, yeah. They sent us this film called Carol. Um, <laughs> And we thought it was a great film. They, yeah, you, they did it's it about themselves. these two lesbian lovers, and, and uh, they hate their did husbands. They send you, sorry, because Carol is a released movie. Did they just send you the movie Carol? <laughs> yeah, you said they made Carol. <laughs> so they so, sent us a movie with Kate Blanchett. Okay. Okay. The movie and Rooney Carol. Mara. <laughs> did they send it to you for you to watch it or to cut a trailer? Well, no, but we've never been sent a movie just to watch, but yeah. I guess that could be the implication. I think they probably talked about they it because they're such good friends. To, and they're such good friends. Man, I bet you guys are wondering how you got here. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists answering the question, now that's why we call it Showbiz. Good night, Hollywood. Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists is an improvised Hollywood Roundtable podcast created and performed and produced by Kylie Brakeman, Jeremy Colhane, Angela Giratana, and Patrick McDonald. AOAOAOA is a Sugar 23 podcast. Michael Mayer and Michael Sugar, executive producers. Liam Billingham, producer. Production support by Angelo Ristano and Anthony DeFrancesco. Music is by Gabriel Pontoff. The opinions expressed on this podcast do not reflect the opinions of anyone who works on it, not even the performers, because this is an improvised podcast and we're stupid. Full video versions of AOAOAOA are available on YouTube, so please like and subscribe and leave us a five-star review wherever you get your podcasts. Good night, Hollywood.